I'd like to introduce you to this brand new horror, The Flesh Thing. And honestly, I have no idea how somebody came up with this. Now, you may know that one issue with computation is the ability to have true randomness, to have nonlinear thought to control complex systems. A human arm, for example, is too complicated for traditional AI to operate. There's just too many small moving parts. And one solution was using the tiny human brains that we can literally grow in jars if you want to, or you can create AI that behaves like them. And that's exactly what researchers did when they created this flesh tentacle eldritch horror. Each one of those muscle fibrous arms are controlled by an individual virtual brain organoid. You can even see them floating there for some reason. Flesh systems, soft systems, require something that resembles real randomness. Linear thought just isn't enough, so you have to introduce nonlinear thought, which our brains do excel at. In a way, our brains operate like quantum computers. They are the most complicated computer that exists on Earth. We just, you know, use them to look at pictures of cats on the internet and other things. This may be the next frontier to creating artificial systems that are truly intelligent. Yes, biohybrids are an option, but our flesh is flawed. It requires oxygen, it requires nutrients, and it can degrade and necrose. Along with creating nanobots that can self-heal, we may bypass the need for biology at all. While I always say that we should borrow from nature, I never said we should plagiarize it. Frankly, when we strictly plagiarize, we get a lot of things wrong. We create things that rot. So why not create something similar? Something that doesn't interact with the environment, something that's not susceptible to infection. And yes, a lot of people do mention mirror life, but I don't think it's truly as dangerous as it's made out to be. Like I've told you, viruses don't have rules. They have all kinds of different nucleotides that we don't have, but we still have immune systems that are designed for randomness, to meet new challenges and destroy them. Even if you created mirror robots, they would still suffer the same consequences. Things would figure out how to degrade them. But when we're talking about things like plastic, bacteria are just getting a hold of how to degrade it. Even wood, which at one point was on this planet, and critters had no ability to digest it, they eventually figured it out, but wood is still pretty sturdy. Even though your home may eventually decay, you can still build a home out of wood. It's not easy to degrade. Ultimately, I want to see robots with the same ideas. Things that look very much like biological systems, things that think like our brains, but are not susceptible to the same things we are. I want to create something better. I want humanity to create something that could actually go out into the stars and long survive us. I don't want to make humans immortal. I would be much happier to pass on the torch to something else. So what do you think? Is a flesh thing just the start? Do you think we'll create something better or annihilate ourselves first?